what do we have here then? A super fight between two of the modern era's very best, or a little and large mismatch that will ultimately do boxing no favours? When the Oscar De La Hoya vs Manny Pacquiao matchup at welterweight was announced, many poured scorn all over it, and when you consider Pac-Man began as a flyweight and spent much of his career in and around the featherweight division, then compared to De La Hoya, who has been at light middleweight or above for the last seven years, then that scorn can certainly be understood. But to look at that viewpoint alone would be unfair to Manny Pacquiao. He is a wonderfully aggressive, fan-pleasing fighting machine equipped to give the Golden Boy a whole world of grief. He has risen through the lower weight successfully after beating greats like Marco Antonio Barrera, Eric Morales and Juan Manuel Marquez. Earlier this year, he moved to lightweight and had little trouble dismantling a thoroughly overmatched David Diaz to capture the WBC title, his fifth world belt. It is believed Manny weighed close to 150 pounds on fight night, and that can only bode well for his duel with Oscar. In doing so, the 29-year-old Philippine hero has climbed to the top of the pound-for-pound -pound rankings, and it's no small feat for this man to be regarded as the best boxer in the sport today. But Manny has not encountered a challenge quite like this one, and on paper at least, it would seem all the advantages lie with Oscar De La Hoya. And for getting size for now, at his peak, De La Hoya was a hard-hitting, lightning-quick and very clever fighter who would have competed with any similar-sized boxer in history. And though he certainly slipped, the 35-year-old remains a fearsome force to be reckoned with. De La Hoya has struggled with slick counter punches a la Shane Mosley and Floyd Mayweather Jr. He had to go looking for those two and came up just a little short. And even then, the rematch with Mosley and last year's battle with a pretty boy could have gone either way. Pacquiao will not sit back, he will go looking for his rival. And such a tactic could play right into Oscar's hands, who has enjoyed some of his greatest successes when fighting under pressure. It's hard to envision the Golden Boy crumbling under Pacquiao's admittedly formidable attacks. You have to take the size factor into it. De La Hoya is clearly the bigger man, no matter what the scales say on December the 6th. And people can argue that Oscar will be weight drained from coming down to 147 pounds, but he will have done it slowly, he'll have done it sensibly, and it should not be an issue. What will be an issue is how well Manny copes with his weight gain. Will he be as quick? Will his punch power be affected? And will he be able to avoid the Delahoya jab and the Delahoya left hook? If these questions are answered in the positive, then a fascinating duel will ensue inside Las Vegas's MGM Grand. So back to the original question, super fight or mismatch? The truth is likely to be neither, and as long as it falls somewhere in between, boxing and its fans should be in for a treat.